I'm silent right now because I'm mad as fuck. I'm silent because I'm mad as I thought that this was Snake Eyes. That this that I believe I'm fairly certain that I believe Snake Eyes is a Southern California player. Meaning, it was likely we were gonna have a good connection. Meaning. It was likely that, despite the fact that I know, I actually, I don't know if Snake Eyes plays this game. I'm pretty sure I've seen him, but I'm not actually 100% sure. But I'm pretty sure I've seen some videos from Justin Wong that featured Snake Eyes. But it looks like we're, f oops, that was the wrong button. That's promising that we're already hitting the wrong buttons. I thought that we were going to have a good connection, that we were going to get to play some shit. And instead, I joined that motherfucking lobby, and that's what we get. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad. Fuck it, we're joining Draggy Muffins. There must be some active people up in this bitch. Oh, we get- Oh, yes! I got- Oh my god, I thought I had missed it by like half a second. So anyway, let's talk about some shit before we get started. Before we start showing some spectator mode of terrible online gameplay. I'm already- I'm very- I'm a very pessimistic person, so I'm already expecting the worst from this. But let's talk about that whole YouTube drama that I never talked about because it didn't affect me, but now it's amusing me. That whole shit that came to light where, you know, YouTube copyright shit that happened at like the end of December or something. Where they started copywriting everything. Now that was irrelevant to me. Because firstly, the majority of what I post is fighting game footage. All the fighting game companies are hugely supportive of their games in general. There are kind of some exceptions, but they're kind of understandable. Exceptions, in my opinion, like Warner Brothers has smacked people for posting um, Injustice story mode stuff, like cutscenes from Injustice story mode. Warner Brothers smacked that shit. That's fine, in my opinion. But they left like gameplay footage completely alone. And then they had, uh, and then they had, uh, what was the other? oh, Arc System Works. I have heard that they have also smacked people for post- I don't know if it was for posting story mode stuff? Or if it was just for post the people that hacked into the game and started posting Kokonoe footage before she was officially released. I'm not actually 100% sure about whether or not they've hit people for posting story mode footage. I've heard they have before, but I'm not sure on that. But anyway, those are the only- like, otherwise, as you know, I have tons of fighting game shit. I have combo videos. I have, like, just random gameplay videos, I have online stuff, uh, casual stuff, I have everything from a ton of different games. None of them got touched by anything. The only fighting game that I have, uh, the only fighting game video I have that got copyrighted was be that one that had the Daft Punk music in it, which is perfectly, like, that's acceptable to me, that's perfectly fine, like, that's licensed music. I used it knowing full well that would probably happen, so, you know, whatever to that. But I checked my other channel when this entire thing happened, the one that I do playthroughs on, uh, DMC Nate. Sega had copyrighted the entirety of my Bayonetta, um, videos, which like, what the fuck ever, they averaged like 150 views or some shit like that. So whatever, I just went, I literally went through and deleted every single video, I didn't even try to dispute them, I just deleted it all, because obviously nobody's watching it, so who gives a shit whether or not it exists. But the one that really amused me was one that I actually just deleted yesterday. These idiots got two of my um, uh, Dark Souls videos. Well, actually, three of them, technically. But one of them was just because of the uh, beginning of the game cutscene that Namco Bandai, they copyrighted that, and then they released the claim, so that one's perfectly fine. The ones that amused me, I got two copyright claims on two different videos for having licensed music featured in them. Now, for those of you that are not aware of what have how Dark Souls works, number one, they why would you do that instead of uh, Mystic Eye shit? I don't know. I don't know how to play Shuma. Maybe this person's smarter than me. No, he's not smarter than me. Tea bags automatically means they're not smarter than me. Um, for those of you that are not aware of how Dark Souls works, Dark Souls has no licensed music. It is custom owned by the company that put the game out uh it's 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 music that they made for their own soundtrack that they created themselves it's not owned by any outside company it's theirs so like it's impossible to be hit by licensed music in the first place but ignoring that 
The only music that is in the game are boss themes. Music it is a very atmospheric game, and I really appreciate this aspect of the game in that it relies on, like, sounds that are happening around you. Uh, like, you know, footsteps from down the hall, growls or grunts or whatever of shit that's, like, you know, further in, like, meant to scare you. It doesn't play music. The only time that game plays music is for a boss fight. Bosses each have their own theme, and that is the only time it plays music. So, these videos were not boss fights. These videos were just random, in the middle of some dungeon. Nothing to do with the bosses at all. There's no music. Literally no music, no sound. I checked the videos, there was literally no sound that could possibly be construed as being music. There's no, like, sequence of notes, nothing happening that could possibly be mistaken as music. And yet, I got two musical trademark, copyright, things on the videos. So obviously, I'm just amused at this point, like, wow, you know, YouTube got themselves a fantastic system here. It's fucking registering silence as music. Fantastic. Good job, YouTube. So I obviously, I disputed them both to see what happens. One of them got released immediately, like, literally hours later, it got released. The other one was, like, eight different fucking companies that apparently this music was owned by. Three of them released uh, the claim, but then one of them, which was, like, BGM music or BM... I don't know if it was BMG or BGM, said, nah, fuck that. This is our music. Like, obviously, they didn't even... they did not check the video at all. They did not look at it. They paid no attention to the, like, the content of my dispute. That, you know, there is no fucking music here. How are you going to trademark me for music if there is no fucking music? And they reinstated the claim. So, like, the only option I have at that point to fight it is literally, like, basically litigation. Like, law shit. I have to give them my, like, all my personal information, my name... My phone number, my address, all of that, I think. I'm not actually... It might have just been my real name. But I'm pretty sure it required, like, all of my information. So that, if they were like, no, fuck that, this is ours, we're taking you to court, bitch. Then they have all that information in order to do so. But yeah, so obviously I was just like, okay, well, fine, I'll just delete the video then. Like, pointless to bother trying to do this, and it's not like I'm making money off this video. But yeah, that's just, that's my fun story that took way too damn long to tell. I just, I cannot believe... The YouTube system is so bad that it's... How did that hit? That Marvel's hitboxes are so bad that it allowed that to hit. Um, YouTube's copyright system is so bad that it registered literal silence. Complete and utter silence. Just like scrapes on steel in the background. That kind of shit as music. Congratulations to y'all. Y'all y'all be smart. Whoever made that system is just brilliant. Obviously knows exactly what the fuck they doing. Alright, who are we gonna pick? Who are we? I don't know who we're gonna pick. I kinda wanna pick X-23. But I also kinda wanna give myself a chance to win against this dude that is obviously being an asshole to everybody. I don't think I like his. Oh, never mind. His alt's okay. And then I almost gave myself fucking <laughs> poison shot. The fight is on. I'm nervous right now. I'm nervous. I haven't played this in ages. That was a weird yoink. Oh shit, I'm too close! Doesn't matter, I picked it up anyway. Damn it. I'm fighting a retard. Was that too late? I think that might have been too nope. That was pointless, that was pointless. I shouldn't have... Well, no, it's not pointless. Because you're actually kind of in a pretty bad situation. Oh, 
God damn it, I tried to frame trap, but apparently my shit wasn't fast enough. Oh, what the shit? Fine, fine! I ain't even mad about it. See, that was my fault. Like, why was I, Why am I going for overheads against this dude that is clearly doing nothing but jumping? This is entirely my fault. I don't play this game anymore. I suck at this fucking game. It's also not a very good connection, but who gives a shit? Like I, like I said, I suck at this game, so like... It's not like a bad connection really matters. I can't grab that? No shit! Alright, my fault. I mass grab. That's not gonna kill her. I don't know why I did that. See, alright, my fault. My fault. I did it again. Why did I do it again? Like, I'm dead now. This entire. Oh, I'm not dead. No, I'm dead. I'm not dead. Fuck! I tried. Oh, okay, good. I tried to grab it again. Why do I try to, I tried to grab it four separate times. Like I said, I'm retarded. I'm retarded. It's my fault. I never should have lost to this homie. I'm rusty as fuck. That was entirely my fault. I should have learned. The first time I tried to grab it, I figured because I was up in the air that time, that's why I kind of thought that maybe I could have grabbed that one. But trying to grab it the second time was stupid. It was stupid of me, and I lost my character because of it. And I just, well, no, I didn't lose my character, but I lost all that health because of it. And I deserve it. Why the fuck? You're stupid. You're an asshole. God damn it, now I have to play this dude. Isn't that Spain? I want to say that's Spain. Let's check Google to see if that shit is Spain. <coughs> now fuck this. I'm going to pick in that team again. I can do better than that shit. It was the lag. It was the lag. On images. Let's see if I'm intelligent. Am I intelligent? Are you Spain? Yo, that's Spain. I'm intelligent. I'm brilliant. I'm amazing. And this is a this is yep yep homie from Spain. Homie is from Spain. Yep yep yes. Excellent. We're the best. Yo, we got a dash first. Oh my God, that came out so late. Yo, these buttons. Okay, I was gonna say, if that works. Fuck, really? Damn it, man. I can't believe I didn't get to punish that shit. This game sucks, man. I cannot believe I actually blocked that shit. I hit C when he was falling down. This game sucks. Peace out. What? Why the hell would you, like, why would you bother? What? Bullsh- You're not here to button lag sucks? Why? Why? There's no way you can do it. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, if this motherfucker can do the loop off of level one, do you know how mad I will be? Shit! That was supposed to be a grab! I keep spamming grab! Oh my god, I blocked that. I know I blocked that, but lag! Fuck off! Bitch. 
<laughs> Whatever, I got this. I ain't dead. Yes, I'm the best! Fuckers all had to quit like bitches. Then I had to play in that shit. I mean, Marvel Online is dead. Marvel Online is dead. It should be dead. It deserves to be dead. It's a terrible system. It's not vanilla terrible, but it's still terrible. Like, I've, I've just completely and utterly lost all interest in this game. It's gone. Like, I used to at least still kind of, sort of enjoy... No, it wasn't. <laughs> There's no... Nothing good happens in lag like that. Um... I at least used to continue to enjoy, like, professional play, kind of. I mean, it kept slowly getting, like, less and less interesting because everybody was, you know, slowly transitioning to using Virgil, Zero, um, you know, all the, just cookie-cutter teams. They're, you know, they're settling into the top-tier teams, which is fine. These people are in it to win. They're in it to make money off of it. Fuck you! They're in it to make money off of it. So it's perfectly fine. Like, I can't judge them. I can't be like, yo, these people suck! They're trying to make a living off of video games. I don't know why. It's not a good idea. Like, at least pick up League of Legends or StarCraft or some shit where they're making, like, fucking millions of dollars. That they're, like, spreading out in a team of six people or some shit. <laughs> Just handle that. Fuck, why does that... He I joined that shit the first... Why? What is happening? <laughs> oh, maybe they got full, I guess? I don't know. Is that really gonna be it? We're gonna lose to some shitty dude that I mean like my fault. Entirely my fault. It wasn't that dude's fault for being shitty. He abused my lack of knowledge that I could not grab Felicia. But yeah, I think that's it. I guess we can check play let's just like I mean we can check player matches and see if there's anything happening there, but I can't remember the last time. Holy shit! Well, guess I'm wrong watching be like two bars. Well, mm, I mean, I'll take it. I don't care. Unless, of course, if it gets down to 20, then obviously this homie is not interested or not here. Yeah. Yeah. We thought we were lucky. We thought we were getting some. But nope. Bitch was a cock tease. Bitches, man. Oh, okay. They stopped cock teasing. Yeah. Should we do, let's do team, let us, let us do team J. Wong. Do team J. Wong. I didn't pick any of them, my bad. Like, these characters actually have good, um, alt costumes. I like Spencer's alt costume. Wolverine's is, okay, it's not, I mean, it's not terrible, but I think I do like his regular costume better. Well, Frank's Mega Man, man, you gotta pay tribute to the legend. Now that there will no longer be Mega Man in this world, like, Mega Man is done. It sucks, but Mega Man is done. Aw, oh, fuck. Yo, this dude playing real. This is basically Nova Spencer Strange, because Iron Fist can do the crumple shit, too. It's just a shittier character on point. Look at me playing footsies and shit. Fuck. Might have been late. Oh, good, it wasn't. Oh, good, we killed him. My fault, my fault, I tr oh my god, I got happy, well, that's fine, I can't do anything with it mid-screen. Oh fuck, I called that too early. Fuck! My fault. What, where was the, 
Oh, maybe it was too early. I mean, not too early. Oh, damn, that was too late. I tried to buy on a farm. This is my fault. Like, I should not be allowing this dude to do this many chains. Supposed to turn around, you son of a bitch. I should have, that was my fault. I should have reacted to that. This was not bad enough, but I could not have reacted to that. Okay, well, now this dude's just onlining me. I was hoping I might be able to like low profile, or not low profile, beat out. Well, beat out or low profile, whatever movie he did, but obviously I didn't. I should have used, I should have just launched. I honestly should like, the thing is Frank's launch, not very safe, but it's online. Like against incoming people, I have no reason not to launch. I really don't because people that are in, people that play online that do incoming, they like hitting buttons. I need to learn loops. Why am I talking like I need to learn shit in this game? That was pretty hot, Phil, wasn't it? That was fucking awesome, wasn't it? Fuck you, that was not awesome. That was less than awesome. That's what I did. God damn it, son of a bitch. What the shit? I, didn't, I did not see that, but whatever. See, that should be punished every si I should be punishing that every single time. That's like the most unsafe possible thing. Oh, I fucked that up! I'm kind of mad. I'm kind of mad. Ah, fuck. Called it out. Didn't react. Pro yeah, that was my fault. I'm being stupid. Stop letting him mash. He keeps mashing. That bullshit, man. That makes me sad. That makes me sad too. <laughs> I am the best. I am the best. I'm not reacting to anything properly. I'm not reacting to anything intelligently. I'm not playing intelligently. Like, the only thing I've done intelligently in this entire match was that Wolverine reset. The Wolverine instant overhead reset. I know he's going to block that the first time. Nobody. Nobody. That's it. That's it, though. I haven't done anything else intelligently. Fuck. Really? That negated? Mm. That negated push block. 
I didn't push block at all! I oh, that was a reset, my bad. What is this dude doing? Why did that work? That's bullshit! My fault, my fault. I should I should have hit I should not have dashed first. I should have just hit the buttons. I mean I'm not this time I'm not playing doing anything intelligent. This time I'm just letting him do whatever the fuck he wants. I don't think so. Oh, okay, okay, maybe. Yeah, alright. I figured that wouldn't hit and he would have to buy on a gun. Shit. Yay. Oh god, I forgot that's who I had. Fuck off! I'm screwed. I'm screwed. That was stupid of me. I didn't mean to do that. That was supposed to be... Uh, why are you teabagging? <laughs> like, why is this dude teabagging? You haven't done anything impressive. You're beating the dude. You're barely beating the dude that has not played this game in, like... Let's be honest. I haven't played this game seriously in, like, a year. But obviously, this homie can be left to his own devices. We don't play teabaggers. You are on your own. You want to be a bitch? You're going to be treated like a bitch. Have fun. Looking for people to play, not finding anybody. You had a decent connection. You had a player that was doing pretty well against you, despite the fact that I suck dick at this game, let's be honest. And this dude got a teabag. Fuck it. Have fun on your own. Oh, microphones. Actually, this is good. This is good. I want to actually test whether or not you hear shit on microphones on this. Because I know that, like, when you have your... If you have my... Uh, let me gather my thoughts. If I have my own microphone hooked up. um, Like, if I did not have this microphone that was actually catching this commentary right now. And I just plugged in my own Xbox microphone. The game would not catch... The shit that I say over my microphone. It would not put it through at all. Uh, it would not capture it at all. But I am curious about whether or not, since this is coming to me through the game, whether or not it'll capture other people. So this is a te this is something I have not gotten to find out yet because nobody on PS3 uses microphones. Actually, no, that's incorrect. I have joined one lobby where one dude pretty consistently utilizes a microphone. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I really do wish that I was interested enough. Oh, this is that homie. Oh, fuck me. I just realized this Lord he ain't do. All right, we outie. We outie. We, we've gotten a little bit of the microphone, but we outie. I just I just looked at the name, and I saw the Spain. Well, I, looked, I saw the Spain flag, and then I looked at the name. So that's going to be it. Hope you enjoyed it. We got everything. We got shit connection. No, we, we should have gotten a rage quit, but honestly, there aren't enough people left in the world to rage quit anymore. It's just, there's not enough people. Um, but we got a teabagger that should not... Actually, we got two teabaggers that were not good enough to teabag. You know, like, if you want a teabag, at least make it so, like, you're winning decisively. Not so, like, yo, I cheese this dude out. At, like, if you're perfecting me, like, four games in a row, teabag the shit out of me. I deserve it. I deserve that shame, that feeling of utter shame and embarrassment. And that's just rubbing it in. But when you are barely beating me, you don't teabag. You don't teabag when you're barely beating somebody. It means nothing. It means nothing. All that you're going to do is make the dude be like, oh, well, this dude's a five-year-old bitch. I'm out. I don't play against immature little dicks. And that's exactly what happened. He lost his match. And now he's going to be sitting there... Waiting forever again, never finding another match. 
But I really do wish, man, like every fight, every fighting game that comes out, I wish that it had the best, the perfectest, it's not even a word, that's how perfect I wish it was, that, that, that it's not even a real word trying to describe the perfection I demand. I wish it was the perfectest shit ever. Like, damn it, I wish I could still be playing King of Fighters 13 at this very fucking moment. I've heard Steam's version of King of Fighters 13 is pretty good, but I refuse to sign up for a Steam account. Because I know the second I do, I'm going to drop like $500 on games, and that is not something that I do not... I have neither the time, nor the disposable income to be getting addicted to Steam, so I, I stay away from it. One of my friends tried to fucking murder me by telling me like every single Steam sale they had over Christmas, but I persevered! I didn't do it! Didn't fall for it! But yeah, I wish, I mean, you know, I wish this game had lovely online that was not, I mean, you, you cannot expect a game's population to be perfect. Any game that is online, you're going to have rage quitters. You're going to have the people that are going to send you rage messages. You're going to have people that are going to teabag you. This is just, that's just life. That's life in general. Some people are assholes. Some people are nice. Some people are nice in public because they're afraid of getting their ass whooped. But then they make up for it by being huge assholes in private. Like, that's that's basically why the internet exists. is so people can be assholes in the comfort of their own home. So I cannot expect to, like, not run into people like that at all. That's a stupid expectation. But if Marvel actually had, like, really solid netcode, more people would stick around to play it. Despite the fact that yet pretty much everybody wants to use Doom Virgil. Or something like that. It says the dude who's using Wolverine. But, you know, fuck you. I'm hypocritical and I admit it. Shut up. <laughs> I wouldn't use Wolverine if I had the time. If I if it was good enough. Like, I had the motivation to invest in learning a new character. Like I said, I wanted to use X-23, man. But I would put up a poor showing if I used X-23. But if this game was worth putting time into to learn other characters, you know I'd be on that in a fucking heartbeat, man. King of Fighters 13, same thing. I wasn't really big on Persona 4 Arena. Injustice? I'm not sure. I mean, Injustice is online. All, unfortunately, all of NetherRealm Studios games have just shit online. It sucks, but that's probably the biggest weakness of their games. I mean, not looking at the fact, you know, not judging whether or not a game is truly competitive or not. Let's not even get into that. But I did legitimately enjoy the little time I had with Catwoman. I think I would have enjoyed the game playing Catwoman. But the online was just worthless. It was not worth playing in, unfortunately. King of Fighters 13, again, I'm gonna keep coming back to that. That would be... That is the perfect fighting game for me. It's all about proper pressure. All about mind games, mix-up, frame traps, rush down. There's really no zoning in the game. Not that I, like, hate on people that zone. I'm not one of those people that's like, Oh, you're a lame-ass bitch for zoning. You can't even play the game. Like, none of that. I just don't like it. I don't personally enjoy it. I can fight it and beat it if I have to, but I don't like having to fight intelligently and patiently. I just want to hit buttons and go in, and King of Fighters lets me do that. It lets me go in until I make a stupid mistake, and they counter me for it, and then they get to go in until they make a stupid mistake. It's back and forth. I love that. Damn, I wish King of Fighters 13 had, like, a huge offline population everywhere. Like, every city in the world had 50 people all just gathering up every day to play that game nonstop. And I would be there every day! Ugh! Anyway, enough about King of Fighters 13, but yeah. That's enough, that's enough little random ranting there. Enough of that. Let's go to Blaze Blue and see if people are playing Blaze Blue.